Now that we've gone over the Matrix dashboard, let's get into the nitty gritty and the part where, in my opinion, super exciting. It's the branding. It's the setting up your contacts and setting up your brand in the Matrix system. So you're gonna wanna edit your information and there's two places where you can do this. The first one um, is gonna go up to your My Matrix section toolbar and then go down to My Information. The second way that you can get here, guys, you're gonna go to the top right-hand corner where it's gonna say hello and then your name. You're gonna click on that to get the drop-down and then go to your settings section. And then that first box on the left-hand side is gonna say my information. Click on that and voila, guys, we are at your my information section where we're gonna set up your branding now. So the first section is your information tab and this is going to house all of the information that you might be plugging in to these different pages, whether it's your header, footer, CMA, etc. A lot of it's gonna come from your HBR membership portal, which um, has the information that you filled in when you first applied to HBR membership. If, for instance, you wanna change that information, you're just gonna go back to your HBR membership portal and update that information there. I went over that in the previous video, but it's gonna be in that useful links section on your MLS dashboard. Now, if any of that information you want to adjust just a tad, um, you can go in and click this override button on this side um, to input additional information. However, I will say to use this sparingly. And the reason I say this is because if you have that information that's changing consistently, you'd have to go into the matrix itself to edit it there versus just being able to edit all of your information in one place, which is at HBR member portal. So just keep that in mind, guys. But if you are wanting to edit it, right, like if you have your official name for business, but you want your nickname on your contacts going out to your clients, you can override it and put your nickname in there. But you have all of these different fields that you can add information in, whether it's a tagline or anything like that. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click that save button and your information is set. After you have your information set, you're gonna wanna head over to the header and footer tab. And this is where a lot of your um, creativity can come into play. Um, this is essentially what's going to show up on any documents or PDFs that you send, like your CMA, your quick CMA. It's also going to be that image banner that's going to display on your agent web page. So let's go ahead and break it down a little bit. The banner image, which is this right here, you have options that you can choose from from the default images that we offer that you can select. Um, you can also say you don't want to have a header or footer on your images, but again, this is an opportunity for you to brand yourself and to set yourself apart. With that in mind, if you're wanting to use a company logo or your own um, personalized image, all you guys have to do is come over here to this upload a custom banner image, click it and add that in and upload it to the system. Something to keep in mind, the pixel um, requirement is 120 pixels by 1600 pixels. So if you're having somebody who is creating this for you, make sure to give them those dimensions, but also let them know that um, any important information should be in the left 800 pi pi pixels of the image. So make sure that you guys set that up from there, you guys are gonna be able to add a photo. Now, this is where you can click that change photo button and add your information um, regarding your photos that you want included. You can have three total in the system and they can be used for your, um, for your portal, your uh, email signature, as well as your header and footer. And you guys can adjust and crop from there and add a total of three into the system okay so that's stuff you can do or you can choose to have no photo at all and as you see that just removes the entire thing but again this is all about branding right so you want to make sure you are recognized your branding is recognized as you when you're sending information to clients 
And this is where your my information information comes into play, right guys? You can select any of the different um, fields that you guys put into your my information section and add that into the branding that shows up right here on your header portal profile. And then of course, if you want to update the colors that are here showing up on your header, you guys can either choose to use theme colors or you can create your own custom colors. So if your office has specific coloring that they want to use, you can add that information for these different sections of your branding. And it's also gonna give you an idea of what your printed header is gonna look like. Then of course, you also have the ability to add your footer. And again, you can say, yes, I want a print footer or no, I don't want a print footer. But again, it's opportunities for you to add your contact information or just information about yourself. And again, all of these fields, you're able to choose from whatever you filled in on your My Information tab section. And you can choose theme defaults or custom colors again. Once you're done setting up your branding for your header and footer, just click that save button and you're ready to rock and roll on your printed CMAs. Now that we have our header and footer set and customized, let's move on to our CMA cover sheet where we can customize some of that information there. So out of those three photos, this is another chance that you can either um, upload a new photo or crop the current photo that's in there for your CMA cover sheet, as well as add any additional information for your CMA cover sheet that you want. And again, these areas are grayed out, but if you want to override them and update the information, you can do that as well. Uh, just remember, you will have to manually go in and update this information if anything changes um, after you've set your system in place. Moving on to the email signature section of your My Information. Guys, this is, I can't even stress enough how important it is to set this up. And the reason why this is important to set this up is because any email coming out of the matrix system is going to have a signature from you. So you wanna make sure it looks nice, it looks professional, and it has your contact information. So I created a two column signature like this. Um, you know, there are tons of tutorials on how you can create signatures. Um, it's HTML based, which means you're able to add photos and add links. Again, those photos, all you have to do is click this image section and you can select an image and add it in there. But um, we also have a YouTube tutorial on how to create a signature like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up here for you guys. After you've set up your email signature, the next section that's important to set up is your portal profile. And the reason that is, is because your information from there is also gonna help you to build your agent webpage. So let's go to that portal profile section, and this is where you're going to be able to add your photo, add your portal greeting, your video. Um, this can be a client testimonial section, an intro to a video of yourself, or maybe something about the neighborhood, like a lifestyle video, okay? So that's something you can add there. And again, your contact information here is going to come from your My Information tab that you filled out prior. You can select any of those fields that you have previously filled in, and then um, you're gonna go ahead and save that information. Moving on to the final tab in your My Information section is your agent web page. And guys, this is what I was referring to um, when I was talking about that recent contact requests widget. Um, your matrix system allows you to create your own agent web page so that people can search your system. All you have to do is enable that agent web page and then pick your web page URL. Now, if you already have a URL that you're using, you can choose to add that in down here under additional domains. Um, there is some additional information, so just make sure you guys read that notice. But essentially, you're able to add your web page title, your um, you know, your little blog post here about you or whatever information you want to showcase to you, anyone visiting your site. And then you can include the different information from your agent portal into your web page. 
And then of course, check where you want people to be able to view um, searching on your site, as well as include that sign up form. So you do have to enable this feature in order to get those contact requests in that widget. But let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So this would be what your web page looks like for anybody coming to your site. And this is where they can request for more information. So if they like what they see and they want to get in contact with you, they can sign up with you, add their information and send that request to you so you can add them into your contacts and get in touch with them to start looking for homes or help them with selling theirs. And this is what your portal profile or your agent web page would look like with your client header that we created in that previous tab, your information that we added from the My Information section, and the different widgets that we added in that agent portal. Now they can go in and find homes um, using this search criteria. But that's essentially what your uh, different sections are in your My Information. And finally, let's talk about uploading and updating your agent photo. When you first applied to be part of HBR and High Central MLS, you were asked to submit a photo. This will be used as your membership verification. Now, say you decide you want a new photo. How would you do this? And why would you want to continue to submit current photos throughout your career? Firstly, you want your headshot to be a current reflection of your age and personality. If a potential customer reads that you have 20 years of experience, but your photos are from 20 years ago, you may lose credibility. An old headshot today suggests that you may not have progressed in your career or embraced the tools available to you now. Second, it displays your level of professionalism. Technology continues to progress at a staggering rate and photos taken on professional cameras now far exceed those taken 10 years ago. When a potential client visits your site and sees an outdated photo, two thoughts may arise. Either they think your business might lack the resources to update your headshots and improve your brand, or that you are lazy and don't think that first impressions are that important. Finally, ensuring a professional headshot is included on your site helps with optimizing your online presence. In this day and age, it's all about getting your name out there. Every time you put a picture of yourself on the internet, it shows up when someone Googles you. This is a great way to build a professional brand and presence. I don't know about you, but I'm far more willing to reach out to a profile with a professional photo over one without one. When you send HBR customer service that photo, it then gets disseminated to a few areas. The HBR membership portal photo is used to verify your identity when you attend HBR and High Central MLS sessions. This photo is also uploaded to highcentral.com's Realtor directory. This photo is displayed to the public when they search for a potential realtor. It's also loaded into the matrix system as well as your branded MLS Touch mobile app. So if you haven't submitted your photo yet, please send it to customer service at highcentral.com. If possible, try to keep your photos within the 175 by 250 pixel dimensions. And when you do, please make sure to detail whether you want your photo displayed on the realtor directory and matrix. Please keep in mind that if we do not add your photo on the Realtor directory on the highcentral.com website, you will not be able to have your photo included in Matrix or the MLS Touch branded mobile application. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned a lot regarding what you can do in Matrix to better your business. For more information and more tutorials, make sure to check out our YouTube channel at High Central MLS. We have tons of informational content here for you to, again, help you better your business. But, um, you know, thank you so much again for joining me. Till next time.